The Tonko site Faizuddin Putra Jamalulai Mosque in Kuala Perlis has been chosen as the pilot project for the Green Houses of Worship program in Perlis. State Islamic Religious Affairs, Welfare and Disaster Relief Committee Chairman Ruzaini Rai said the mosque was chosen because of its strategic location and role as a tourist attraction. A pilot project to be the military can jauh di setiap setiap masjid di dalam Perlis ini yang mana untuk maklumat ada 101 masjid di dalam Perlis ini yang insya Allah pihak pihak daripada Tansu sendiri dan pihak daripada UNIMED akan berusaha lah untuk mengaplikasikan di masjid hijau ini di seluruh masjid yang boleh Ruzaini said the state government viewed the matter positively and the project would be developed in stages for several other mosques in the state. He told reporters this after launching the state mosque level environmental sustainability awareness carnival on Thursday. Meanwhile, Malaysian Green Technology and Climate Change Corporation Chief Executive Officer Shamsul Bahar Mohamad Nur said to date almost 15 mosques nationwide have started to discuss on the use of green technology. This year, another 100 mosques are expected to join this effort. The program was introduced to provide guidance and support to mosques and surahs on green technology to help them save on utility bills. Keperluan lebih kurang sebelas juta kalau nak tukarkan memastikan bahawa setiap penjimatan ada pasang suara, pasang bulu ada hujan kan. Tapi kita akan bagi lagi yang masjid 110 ini insyaAllah 101 tu. InsyaAllah satu hari semua masjid akan dapat aplikasi yang lebih hijau. The Malaysian Green Technology and Climate Change Corporation and Yayasan Wakaf Malaysia also provides special funding through the Green Mosque Endowment Fund to help fund the development of this technology system at the mosque level.